That's Wendy right there. Hey, Wendy, sweetheart. She is one of my first sows to start showing that she's nice and pregnant. Look at that. Ah, I hear you, Spicy. Hey, sweetheart, I'm giving you attention, too. <laughs> they get jealous if somebody gets attention and the other one doesn't. But look at she she plops down a second ago before I started filming. I was scratching her ears. <laughs> and everybody in here, the second you start scratching them, they fall over. She's like, give me some more belly rubbing. <laughs> there is daddy right there. The black one. Baconator. And there's Frosty. Girl Chili's over there. Hey, okay, Frosty, I hear you. Hey, sweetie, hey. But she is only a month long Baconator. Right there again. Was put in October 17th with them. So she's, you know, a little over a month, but still. She is the only one that's showing so much right now. She's, she's showing pretty heavily already. Gosh, look at that. That is, what's that? It's like exactly a month and uh, five, what's today? Do, 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 uh, the 22nd. Today is the 22nd of November, so she's about five weeks along, I'd say. She likely, by the looks of it, bred her the moment I put them in here. No point. Car swine. I put him in here, and if you look already you really get a good look there are actually little bumps moving on her belly already that's crazy I mean I've raised pigs I dealt with pigs when I was in school and um, you know I've, I've had wild pigs that my brother-in-law's brought over and, and I have two wild burrows that I use as my composters piggy one and piggy two good boys really friendly they're probably about 300, 400 pounds each. <laughs> and they're my composters. And, um, and then these girls. Actually, back to my composter boys. They were actually born here. And I kept them out of a litter. And then sold their, their mother and father. But uh, these will be my first Cooney Coonies. And it's taken a little longer than I expected. Not because of the girls, but because of Baconator over there. He, uh, he took his time getting these girls bred. Which I've read and heard is pretty normal for Coonies. The girls are ready to go and the boys, you know, <laughs> gotta figure stuff out. <laughs> hey, sweetie. But he apparently finally figured it out, which is making me happy. I've been wanting little cuny piglets for a while. Hey, sweetie. Oh, look at you. are looking nice, Wendy. I know, sweetie. I'm outside the fence here, so it's hard for me to reach in there. She's wanting me to scratch her, and I can't reach. <laughs> hey, girl, Jelly. Hey, girl, Jelly. I can't get you, Wendy. Uh. And there's Spicy Pig. Got Wendy. Chili No Beans. Spicy Nuggets. Baconator over there. There's Taco and Frosty. It's my little Cooney herd. Amazing pigs. I have a video out of when I moved them into this spot here. And it was pretty overgrown with grass. 
and they've been here for a couple months now I think and they've done an amazing job cleaning it out you can see just amazing they've eaten all the grass they've cleaned out all the perennial weeds and they're going to be here probably another couple weeks I'm gonna separate out Wendy in another month next month December and they will go back to another pen area that I have sorghum grown in right now and that will get cleaned out by them and this will get planted and this was a this is a semi permanent little pen paddock I've made for them and I've I don't have much property I don't remember where I do all this so I let them clear an area they fertilize it weed it out get to eat and then it gets planted behind them hey sweetie I know and that works uh, really well either do sorghum or this will probably get planted in broccoli and radishes and whatever else I can find and then next year in four or five months they'll get cycled back through here but I have two permanent fences this one I'm on and one farther back there and then there's one in the front here that's not permanent that I'm going to use as a trellis and that will get planted next year but back to the coonies look at <laughs> sweetie she keeps trying to move closer so I can get <laughs> so I can give her some scratching hey sweetie oh I can't you're still too far away she's like two feet away from the fence here and I can't get her sweetie you're, you're too here hang on a moment Let's see if we can fix this got a got a hoe here with me you know just in time for Christmas got your hose there we go oh yeah you like there we go mm-hmm that what you wanted <laughs> are you getting jealous Chili she is Chili's like well, why am I not getting any ah these coonies guys amazing pigs as you can you can see here, like I was showing, had the camera on. They clean this out without destroying the ground. You know what I mean? And and normal pigs, standard pigs, have their have their uses, of course. You know, you want the ground tilled. You you that's what you use. You use normal pigs. You just want the weeds removed. I'm telling you, get yourself some coonies. These guys. Sorry, twigging on me. These guys will eat all the grass, eat all the weeds. They'll they'll dig a little bit when they find something tasty. Trust me, they'll they'll root for it and eat it. But that's that's nothing. Trust me, absolutely nothing. I'm just gonna sit here and talk while I'm hoeing my cooney cooney, my pregnant cooney cooney guys. <laughs> and um. Nothing. They don't dig at all. If I had uh, my my two boys in here, or anybody else, a wild pig, or even another breed, this would be. There'd be mounds of dirt. There would be six foot holes. They would have a mud hole in the center here, five foot deep. The coonies do not do that, and they are truly grazing pigs I, I feed them scraps you know they get stuff out of the kitchens but most of it goes to my my composter boys you know they get everything these guys I, they do get boiled eggs you know when I empty the incubators and nobody hatched or stuff like that they get chicken bones they get some good quality dog food especially now that they're pregnant you know they get some good stuff but they want green they do they where the, you know, other pigs that I've had, you know, they, they want to eat. You give them a plate of green, a pile of weeds, and a pile of, you know, potatoes and meat, 
those pigs are going to go after, you know, the good stuff. The coonies here actually want green. And that was, uh, believe it or not, that's the only issue I've had with them is having enough green to keep them satisfied. There's my boar. Hey, Baconator. Hey, big guy. Hey, big guy. You want some attention, too? You want some attention? You're going to be a daddy. I'm proud of you. Took you long enough. Took you a year and a half. Took you... Took you a year and a half to knock up these girls, huh? That's all right. Can't be too mad, huh? Oh, now he's gonna fall over. <laughs> I told you all he's gonna do is <laughs> just rub them and they fall over. <laughs> there you go, Baconator. There you go. Does that, does that feel good? Yeah. They are uh, amazing pigs. Nope. Okay. Okay. But uh, yeah, it was the only issue I've actually had raising my coonies is having enough weeds and green to keep them fed, which isn't too hard. You know, I mean, I don't do any spraying or anything. And everything green is the piles of grass and weeds they get. There's always plenty of weeds, and they actually really like bananas just like the other pigs and they love the sorghum stalks and the everything anything green and I grow enough sorghum and bananas that they can eat banana st stalks and leaves 365 but um yeah amazing pigs naturally their disposition is, is unbeatable. Again, maybe the only thing that uh, isn't really an issue, but they are so loving. <laughs> they they really want attention. You see this? They want to be scratched. They want to be they want to be rubbed on. And they're very friendly social pigs. And I'm not saying that as a context. If you want these as pets, you want a pet pig. They're nothing. Just forget pot bellies, forget full size, get a coonie coonie. You cannot beat these guys as a pet pig. They are smart, of course, but they're just so friendly. And of course they're they're the smallest breed of pig, you know, don't fall for that teacup bull crap, you know. A little teacup pig and it ends up being a three hundred and fifty pound giant rooting monster you know these coonies here yeah they're big bacon here right there is about uh 200 pounds he's actually a smaller boar he's not the biggest i have dave dave's double in the back he's not up here and uh he's pushing 300 he's he's quite a bit bigger than baconator but I like the way Bacon Hair looks. Bacon Hair has that cooney cooney look. You know, fat and round, literally. <laughs> and got the big jowls, look at. Yep. Got the cooney cooney jowl and the hams. And um, he's a little friendlier than Dave. Dave is a little more rambunctious. Bacon Hair here is a big baby. And I think that's why it took him so long to get the girls knocked up. You know, those wild pigs, which I haven't bred before. You know, uh, gosh, those boys are ready to breed a couple months old, and the girls will be popping out piglets by the time they're four months old. My Cooney girls now are, uh, they were born last year, so gosh, they will be, you know, they're a year and a half old. And uh, finally pregnant. Look at that, beautiful. I know, sweet. Hey, spicy. She's she's getting mad. She's like, why am I not getting rubbed? <laughs> but amazing pig. This oh gosh, 15 minutes I've been sitting here yakking. But if anybody's watched it this far, they are just great pigs. You know, utilize utilize every animal for what it is. 
this is I'm not a farm I will never admit to being a farm but <laughs> this is a working property you know nobody gets a free pass on here uh, same with the chickens same with the ducks yeah sorry my nose itchy. same with the other pigs they are put to work if they're not working and making it worthwhile having them they're they're not here you know and these guys definitely cover themselves or they don't destroy they're not destructive they're very easy on fencing unlike larger pigs that you know can rub or literally root up a fence in, in two seconds you know you get a full-size pig and I mean, all they do is flick their nose and your your fence is gone you know these guys there's no electric fencing on this on uh, the panels here they're just hog panels and that's it if you don't have it sturdy enough there's t-post uh, they do rub on it of course you know pigs like to scratch on everything and they will push on it trying to get to a tasty root or grass or something but they won't destroy it you know just make it a little sturdy so they can't get it or better yet just feed them all the weeds that are growing around the fence and they'll be happy and they're very easy to please you can see spicy back there eating her vegetables they got some chicken bones tonight making me some chicken gravy for dinner mm -hmm. But anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go. If you watch this whole video, like and subscribe. Depending on where you're watching it. Sorry about the airplane. Keep following me. I raise coonies. I love them. These guys are pets slash working pigs. You know? Um, so don't worry. They're not for eating. Not these guys. Not saying that I won't eat through piglets. <laughs> you know, raise animals right and then enjoy them in the end, if you know what I mean. But these guys are not for that. These guys are 100% pet working pigs. There you go, Spidey. Oh, I need Wendy. There you go, sweetie. And yeah, I don't think I caught it on video, but you could actually see the little pokes in her belly already crazy I can't imagine how many piglets she's got in there but definitely guys looking for a good pig on your farm or property that's gonna be easy to raise that grows nicely on very little these guys have amazing conversion feed conversion you could feed literally this these pigs are grazing pigs I bring them food and move them because I don't have the pasture to put them on. But if you have pasture, these pigs will eat nothing but grass and weeds and, and thrive. Seriously, yeah. Um, on anything other than lots of green, they get too fat. You know? So, and that's amazing. And these guys get 90% green. Probably going to up their, you know, more protein. And, you know, I give them some good quality dog food. They don't get crap corn dog food. They get good dog food. And they get boiled eggs and chicken bones and stuff like that. And, uh, but super easy. And, they do a good job cleaning up an area there you go so keep on watching guys I like making videos I come out here every day and just chill with my cooties you know I normally go in there with them but <laughs> I should fall back over uh, I haven't fed them yet actually so they like to lick toes and, you know, I think licking toes is, you know, it's a very fine line between the little lick, 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 and a, ooh, that's tasty. <laughs> yeah, yes, I know, I mean, she's like, shut up, I'll, I'll eat something if you don't keep scratching me. 
but amazing pigs guys see you later thank you for watching the video like and subscribe keep it up keep you up to date on cooney piglets and hey if in you know another two months or so you're looking for piglets look my way see you later